The Flash movie is a really weird case study. Although it's been in development hell for years, in my opinion, it actually wound up being pretty good and in some ways great. It impressed me just how many aspects of it outdo those of the majority of recent superhero movies. The action scenes were interesting to watch, a lot of the comedy landed while also being dialed back when necessary, the cameos weren't intrusive to the main story, and the cinematography was pretty creative. But other than the bad CGI, the main gripe I have about the film is its lack of identity. To some people, this isn't just a solo Flash movie, but also a final farewell to the DCEU, which could be true, but it's weird that some characters get more of a spotlight than others. At the start of the film, we get a fun action sequence with The Flash, Ben Affleck's Batman, and even Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman. Although the rest of the heroes are absent, Aquaman does appear in the post credit scene, and Superman and Cyborg get faceless nods in news reports. So if it's a farewell, it's kind of a half-assed one to me. But then that begs the question, why is Michael Keaton's Batman in this movie then? If we're not even returning to the Tim Burton Batman universe, then I feel like the Batman Barry meets in this alternate timeline should have been an altered version of the Ben Affleck character. That also goes for Supergirl. In the comics, when Barry goes back in time, he still meets Clark Kent, just a much weaker version of him. So why introduce us to a totally new iteration of a different character, rather than just bringing back Henry Cavill for one more adventure? These two basically built the DCEU, so it feels weird to have them replaced by characters Barry Allen has no pre-established attachment to, especially when the timeline he goes back to is for the most part exactly the same as his original timeline. Some people would then argue that maybe this movie is actually a tribute to DC's cinematic history as a whole. That would make sense as to why the Keaton Batman is back, but then why is Supergirl not just another version of Superman from DC's past, someone like Brandon Routh per se? And also, why are all the cameos in the movie, then only showcasing different variants of Batman and Superman. We do get a glimpse of one different Flash, but I can't believe they didn't even reference the CW Flash, or even the John Wesley ship Flash from the 90s. And even that one different Flash is apparently just a CGI actor, it's not the same one from the CW show who portrayed Jay Garrick. At that point, why not just throw in a reference to Ryan Reynolds' Green Lantern or Linda Carter's Wonder Woman to at least have some representation for some of the other DC heroes? And if we're talking about the future, there was this video that James Gunn made talking about his plans for what his own DC universe is going to look like, but this movie doesn't even feel like a launching pad into James Gunn's new DC universe like he said it would. The Flash, a fantastic movie that I really love that resets the entire DC universe. The last scene's George Clooney cameo, although hilarious, doesn't give us any indication as to how this will connect to the next slate of films. That's especially because we already know that the next Batman will be played by an entirely new actor. But hey, maybe I'm just making a mountain out of a molehill and should just be looking at this as a solo Flash movie. And honestly, throughout all the craziness of it, it does a pretty good job at keeping the spotlight on Barry Allen. A lot of the movie does focus on building him up as a character, and even the real antagonist of the story is an alternate version of himself. Although I do think the CW Flash series did the whole origin story thing better, this film did a pretty good job at condensing a lot of those emotional beats into a fun two and a half hour adventure. With this movie bombing so hard at the box office, I can only hope that James Gunn reboots this character, and we get a Flash movie that doesn't have to concern itself with something as big and messy as the fate of the multiverse. Thank <laughs> you.